Welcome to the Eliza OS Developer YouTube channel. I'm Young Algorithm. Today we are going to do video three, which is about multiple agents and characters. The last video was video two, going over creating one agent or character and running it on a development server. So we're going to expand upon that today. I'm just going to open up our CLI here and First, we're gonna do this. Just start off where we were yesterday. I'm gonna create a project. This is exactly what we did in video two. I'm going to do PG Lite, do OpenAI, put in my key right there. And I'm gonna CD into that, open it up in cursor. Here we see our fresh project file. We would expect to see, yeah, the OpenAI key in the ENV, and here's our character file, character TypeScript file that we saw the other video. Now, there's actually another way to create a character or an agent. We use the terms interchangeably, and that is through the CLI with this command. So Eliza OS create type agent and I'm going to name my first agent Billy and I'm going to name my second agent Bobby and if you're paying close attention you'll notice that these are JSONs but character is TypeScript so what's the deal do these do different things or something actually they don't so I'm gonna explain that to you in a second but first I'm just going to quickly ask Claude to create unique personalities for Billy and Bobby make them outrageous and make them respect the So basically, we have a JSON character here and we have a TypeScript character here. The TypeScript character is type safe. It has IntelliSense. It will throw, you know, more descript errors if you mess something up. Some people prefer TypeScript. Other people prefer JSON. It is something that people are more used to if they were developing on Eliza OS v1. And also it's kind of easier to read. It's not gonna give you the errors as good as TypeScript does, but it's really just up to preference. So here we've changed the Billy file and made it a little custom. Now we've changed the Bobby file, we made it a little custom. And one more thing I'm gonna do to kind of customize this is I'm gonna add some uh, plugins, some custom plugins. So Bobby's gonna get Discord, Billy is gonna get Telegram. Now, we're not actually gonna configure these in this video. Rather, I'm just gonna give each agent a unique set of plugins so I can demonstrate that. Now we have Billy and Bobby configured. Each of them, like I said, have unique sets of plugins and unique personalities. So I'm just gonna run Eliza OS start. This is gonna run our server. Now we can see here, localhost. We have Eliza running, but we just created Billy and Bobby. So why is Eliza here? And why don't we see them? Well we actually didn't pass the agents. So here, this is still the character file that's getting referenced. If we wanna reference Billy or Bobby or Billy and Bobby, we need to actually pass them to the CLI. And I'm gonna show you just how to do that. So Eliza OS, start. And see here we have this character flag. So let's run this character billy.json.
Nice. So Billy is running now. And Eliza's still here, but she's grayed out. That's pretty cool. So let's go here. And I want to run Bobby. I want to get Bobby running on this server too. I can't type anything because my server is running. So I'll open up a new shell. I'm still in my project. And if I run something like this, character Bobby, that's going to throw me an error because that's going to try to start a server on 3000 and that port is taken up right now. So there is a way for me to start it on another port right here, but that's also not going to get us what we want. Our goal is to have two agents running on the same server on the same port. So if I just have one agent running on one port and another agent running on another, that doesn't really help me. So how do you do this? Well, let me show you this command. This is a new command. It's a pretty easy one. Eliza OS agent. So Eliza OS agent list, for example. Okay, cool. So here we can see Billy and Eliza. Billy's active and Eliza's inactive. So that's what we were seeing in the GUI before where Eliza was grayed out. So if I wanted to remove Eliza, I could just do this and then run list again. And now we see Billy's only there. Awesome. So wrapping it back, what we want to do is agent start, right? Start an agent. So start and let's run the help flag and we can see here we can pass a name, we can pass a path, and we even have some examples down here. So okay, cool. This is, this looks good. So I can run Glazoa start path bobby.json. Awesome. So now if I run Eliza list, we can see Billy and Bobby are both here. Let's go over to the GUI and refresh. And we see Billy and Bobby are both active. Billy has a Telegram plugin and Bobby has a Discord plugin. And both of them have unique styles. I can speak to Bobby. Hi, Bobby. I can speak to Billy. Billy and both of them are going to speak in their way for their personality actually I can even add them to a group chat and talk to them there and they will both have access to this, you know, it's just a group chat. Pretty self-explanatory, they can talk to each other, all that good stuff. So yeah, today we got multiple agents running in one server, it was really easy. If we wanna stop the server, we can go over here and do control C, and we also got an introduction to the agent command it's a pretty powerful command, you can do lots of stuff here. And we have the fourth video coming up next, so please stay tuned and thanks for joining.